excited to be with you right now and to get you started on your futuristic city that you're going to be photographing. Um, you should have already gotten your supplies together, so you should have some aluminum foil. You should have your staples. Hopefully you have more than what I gave you, but if you don't, that's okay. You'll make do with what you have. And another optional supply that can be very helpful is some double-sided scotch tape. If you don't have that, that's fine. That's just going to make setting up your staples just a little bit easier. But um, I know that you will persevere and you will make it work no matter what your circumstances are. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to set up a small little studio space. And what you're going to want to do is be in an area where you guys can have a flat surface with a wall behind you because this is gonna look really cool if you can get the foil to go all the way down without having a crease. So I'm gonna take a piece of foil. I'm gonna make that longer than I think I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna take a little bit of tape. I'm gonna tape that to the wall. you had as much fun as I did putting together your little staple cities um, I think it's really cool um, but then I was that kid that always wanted to play the operation game you know where you have to like try to take all the organs out without buzzing the guy on the operating table so I don't know maybe that's too old school and you don't know that but if you don't you should totally check it out especially if you had fun setting these up um, did anyone else have any problems with the domino effect? I had probably about five or six of my buildings set up and I put one in the back and it fell forward and they all fell down. So I realized that this is going to take you a little while to kind of get everything balanced and I was able to do it without the sticky tape. So I think that's going to be better in the end when we go to take the pictures if you can do it without having to use any tape. So I hope you're able to do that. Give it a try. So what you're gonna do now is play with your lighting and shoot some different pictures. Check out the rubric, make sure that you have everything that you need. Really think about how you are going to adjust your eye level. Try some photos from different angles for sure and maybe try more than one composition. So you may decide that, hey, that first city looked really cool, but try another one. So we're gonna take a bunch of pictures. You are going to do some editing if you have Adobe Photoshop, you're more than welcome to use that, but that's not a requirement. Any editing that you do should be able to be done on your phones. And I think changing color and adding kind of colored filters will make a different kind of ambiance to your future six cities. So good luck and you know how to reach me if you have questions. Thanks guys.